Yeah, 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 I'll get it done soon. Yes! Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Alright, talk soon. Night, peace, yeah. Ah, people are so annoying. I'm just trying to eat my cookie, man. There we go, get a nice bite. Mm. Excuse my manners, I didn't see you there. Do you want some cookie? One like equal one cookie. Let's go. You want? All right. You liked it? Nice. Here you go. Before we jump on to the unboxing of this thing, I already know what it looks like. I've heard, I've seen the videos on it. I got it late, you know, I was, I was, as usual, Chevy be getting stuff late, but it's better late than never. All right, we'll, we'll soon get the exclusive stuff, guys. That's why we grinded to that 100K, you know. But yeah, I'm super excited to test this phone out. All right, let's see what we got inside this nice package right here. I've seen this package before, but I'm not sure what's inside now. Oh, that looks different. The last time we had black. Look at all these nice... What are these stuff called? Like, confetti, I guess? But we have a cookie. LG sent me a cookie. Should I eat it? Guys, let me know if I should eat that cookie. Also, we got the, the, the invitation card for the meeting that we're going to have. Can't leak too much information. But yeah, just know. Keep that to the side. We also have some dope glasses. <laughs> you already know I'm gonna put this on, guys. Now this package obviously isn't the retail package or anything. Oh, wow. Ah! <laughs> no way. I'm killing the streets in these, trust. But yeah, this isn't the retail package, guys. They just sent me the phone just like this. No box, nothing. That's it for the package, I guess. We also have the chargers inside. See, yep. We've got the charger. No headphone or anything. That's all we get. Now, you won't get your phone like this when you unbox it. This is just for me because it's like a reviewer's pack. There we go. And that's it. The phone looks amazing. It's kind of tall. We have the hole punch up here. Headphone jack What? Headphone jack USB-C Bottom firing speakers Guys take a good look at that headphone jack. It might be the last time you see it USB-C bottom firing speakers at the top We also have speakers at the top, which is good. So dual SIM card ejector tool. I think this is a speaker as well on the side. We have one power button right here volume rockers and a proprietary button right here for s probably something to do with LG. Let's turn it on. LG Velvet powered by Android. I like it. It feels sleek. Look how thin this is. Let's compare it to... You can see the difference. Look how thin the Velvet is. It's really thin. It's taller. All of that stuff. Very nice phone. I like it. Now, I'm just gonna boot everything up and yeah, get the phone started and everything. But so far, first impressions, I love it. Now, let's run this thing up. Let's go. Okay, now there we go. We are all set up. Transferred over my files from my older phone. I need to set up the launcher. I don't I don't currently like this launcher we have right here. All right guys, a quick overview. The device that we have right here is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765, which is 5G and also has 6 gigs of RAM. Inside here we have a 128 gigs of storage for me, and you could you also use a micro SD card as I mentioned up top here with up to 2 terabytes of storage, which is good. So it's always good that we still have that micro SD card slot. I hope no Android supporting device don't remove that. It's a must have for me. We still have that nice hole punch cutout. Nothing too absurd or gets in the way. It looks neat, especially for the price point here of 
around 650 here in Canada or 700 in Canada. I think it's 600 in the US. Don't quote me on that. Now, the display itself right here, it's really nice. Although it's 6.8 inches, there's no step up to like higher resolution. It's 2460 by 1080p. So you have full HD plus. Uh, it's still 60 hertz, no like 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate. It's still 60 hertz. That's where a lot of phones in this price range would beat the screen in terms of refresh rate. But a lot of people don't mind the refresh rate, they don't see it. But for me personally, I'm an avid user, I'm an enthusiast. I do recognize when it's 60 hertz from 90 hertz or 120 hertz, and I do appreciate the 60. I mean, I do appreciate the 90 hertz that phone manufacturers put onto the displays. It's so much smoother and it looks silky. I just love the feel of scrolling through stuff or even watching high FPS games on twitch it's just overall a good experience now in terms of battery this has 4300 milliamp hours it does have wireless charging which is a win i can't go to a wireless charging especially at my desk i just put my phone down on the wireless charger so this having a wireless charger is definitely a win so flipping the lg velvet around we have that triple camera array right here every phone is trying to go for the triple camera setup the main camera up top is a 48 megapixel f.1 aperture f, f 1.8 aperture the ultra wide is the second one which is an 8 megapixel lg always does great with the ultra wide and we also have a 5 megapixel death camera and the front facing camera i think is 16 megapixel don't quote me on that but i think it's 16 megapixel and when it comes to the camera it looks really good i've taken a few shots you really can see the departure from the flagship position though which compares to like the lg v60 that i have you can see the quality is kind of different you know it's not the best but it gets the job done now there's three cameras at the back although one of these cameras is a depth sensor to bring like bucket to the background and stuff like that i've always been like critical with depth sensors like mkbhd said it's not like really performing if you block the depth center, you still get nice bokeh, you know? Like, I think these companies are just putting that depth center camera in there just to say, oh, we have three cameras. As MKBH said, I think they should use actually that money to probably get better battery life, probably get a better screen, bump it up to that 90 hertz that we all love. Playing games with 90 FPS is amazing. So, yeah, like, why waste time trying to say, oh, we have a triple camera when you could actually just use the money to do something else to make the phone a better smartphone. But overall, I think this phone is really hitting everything at the price range. So, I've been using the phone for a couple hours now and I know you guys are gonna ask is it worth it it's not the most complete phone but the LG Velvet is a good alternative if you're against going on a full flagship device the addition of the dual screen case and the sleek design makes this a good start in the next generation of LG's Android phones also benefits from a hefty feature list with plenty left in it that's normally gets chopped up when the price is involved you have wireless charging for instance the IP rating and a headphone jack as I mentioned earlier all makes a welcome appearance and it's well appreciated especially at this price point. I keep saying at this price point because it's relatively cheap when it comes to smartphones. It's around 650 as I mentioned tons and tons of time but the features you're getting with this at that price range is actually ridiculous. Now there's certain areas that could be improved though like a faster screen would be nice like 90 hertz though not if it came at the loss of a dual screen and through software reboot stuff like that it should be a high priority now the camera performance is mixed too and if photography is still your number one priority then if you're looking for like photography as like the best thing on a phone then you're going to have to spend more money honestly this is not like a photo beast right here it does well you see in the pictures, you could be the judge of that. Now, LG has also embraced the mid-range with the Velvet, and it's a good first step that feels far more distant than like any of the brand's recent flagship devices, for example, the V60. Now, if you want to pick up one of these, I'll leave links down below. I tried to tag where you could find some of these, but I just like what every company is doing right now, adding the flagship devices. OnePlus did it with the OnePlus eight and now they even did it better with the oneplus nord apple did it with the iphone se2 very lazy but they did it i'm not sure who else is doing this stuff um samsung did it with the i think it's the s10e 
Now, LG with the LG Velvet, and it's solid. It, it doesn't feel like any corners has been cut. I don't know if this is plastic or what, but everything just feels like aluminum. As I said before, this is just my first impression, so I will do a dedicated full review on this device. But yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video, and as always, love, peace, and tweaks. I have to finish my cookie. Peace.